All right, take two. Um, Cause I just filmed like a 17 minute video and my kids had to come in here and jump on camera and everything else. But also 17 minutes, way too long for what I'm just trying to explain right here, okay? So, um, monster. The uh, ultraviolet. Haven't had one of these in a cool minute. Uh, and they're fantastic. I, I, I like the I like the great ones. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, don't drink more than two of these a day. Don't drink less than two of those a day either. So, um, the infamous forty round KCI magazines for the AK and seven sixty by thirty nine. I have made more videos about this than I ever thought that I would. Um, these magazines aren't very good. It is what it is. Go look at the comment section on my original video. It's a salt mine. The Cope is amazing. Um, the uh, KCI apologists just came out of the woodwork to explain to me that my gun actually sucks and these super cheap Korean made magazines are the best magazines there ever were and they work great in their gun and all that other, you know, typical copy stuff. Put one round in here. Okay. Look at this. That is the bullet moving. Alright. The follower is not moving. And I'm not, you know, I'm not killing it, not putting too much on it. Okay. won't fly out but this is the better of the two now I'm put that one over there here's this one this is the worst one okay now same deal Let's see if I can get my face out of it so it'll focus won't fly out but just not great okay bullet move all over okay this is a Bulgarian uh, just you know whatever mag not super expensive either somewhere around you know KCI mags um, these again no metal reinforcements here here or here so this one's not freakishly expensive either and I mean I, I like this a lot I mean these mags have been I'm, I really like these um, okay There you go. Alright, no movement there. Okay. Whatever. So. It wasn't the Micro Draco causing these mags to have issues. I've already actually made this video already about just showing that. I'm going to show in this video as briefly as possible. Because good grief, I don't want to keep you here forever. Um, these are just not made to super high standards, and it's okay. It is what it is, as long as we understand and recognize the limitations of certain gear and products. That's all. No big deal, all right? But let's take a look. We are going to take the spring and follower out of this and the spring and follower out of this, compare them, and swap them, all right? Now, this is the KCI magazine, okay? And... Here's the this. Now, for the time being, I'm gonna let that pop out. Notice the amount of force at which that spring out. I'm just gonna leave it hanging in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. Really gotta hold this one. Alright, spoiler. Okay. So here's this. We'll compare those in a minute. Yeah, see if I don't go fast enough, it'll coil up. Now, I'm going to leave that one also, just like that. This is the base plate from the KCI. Nice and thin, not a whole lot of whip, right? Whatever. This is the one from the Bulgarian. Decent amount more than that for it to hold on to, okay? Um, you can see the KCI has all these little cuts, I'm assuming to save on material. That one don't. Um, this is reinforced with a rib there. This one isn't, just says made in Korea on that little tab. Okay. All right. Now, to differentiate, this is the base 
of the KCI. A little flat piece of sheet metal right in here, okay? This is the base of the bogan. Got a big old triangle piece. See how much thicker that, that is. And this is plastic, okay? This is plastic. It's that much thicker, all right? So, I don't know how well this really comes up on camera, okay? Like I said, take two, so I know a little bit about how this is about to go down. So, KCI. KCI here, Bulgaria here. I don't know how well it comes off on camera. This is thicker than this, okay? Um, I don't know how by how much. I don't have a tool to measure that, all right? I'm just eyeballing it. That's, uh, that's thicker than that, all right? Also, let's see if I can do it like this, maybe. I'm gonna put these right here together, okay? So, those are... Those are even right, no argument there. Look at that. Okay, look again. Even. Whoa. Whoa. The KCI spring that the Koreans found suitable for a 40 round magazine versus the Bulgarian spring that the Bulgarians said, hey, let's put this in our 30 round mag. Okay, even right there at the top. Whoa. Oh my goodness. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This is the KCI spring. I'm gonna set it down right there. This is the Bulgarian spring, okay? This is the KCI magazine. Okay. The little super thin, cheap KCI base plate. Okay. 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 Let's see. Now, would you look at that? What do you know? No, I can't. If I really get down on it, here, let me move my. Let me move my face. I'm still trying to see too. You really put some pressure on it, it'll kind of move, but then, no, I don't know, that might be the follower. No movement. Seems great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so, looks like, uh, you put higher quality parts in them and they fix. Now, I did have some boomer on the very first video saying, oh, well, just do this and do that and it'll fix it. I shouldn't have to fix something right when I buy it. Duh. Okay, because then, uh, like, I don't remember, man, it's been so long, a 12 or $15 magazine, or I think it's like 10 or $12 a piece, uh, shouldn't uh, have to be fixed. Because, see, what I'm, what I'm probably going to end up doing is buying some extra power springs to go in here with new followers, and uh, that should fix them. But then all of a sudden, my little $10, $12 magazine turns into a little bit more expensive. And if I'm going to do that, just buy a different magazine from the beginning, okay? But I'm going to do it now because I've already bought them and whatever. I'm not going to put those little winky dink, you know, slinkies back in them and try to sell them to somebody because that's crooked and dirty. If you do stuff like that, you're a piece of garbage, all right? Don't sell broken shit to people, all right? So... Is the KCI spring going in the Bulgarian magazine? Okay. All right. KCI spring in the Bulgarian magazine. Mmm. Look at that. Oh man, that thing just. Well, yeah, with like almost no effort. So, it's a spring thing, guys. Um, the KCI magazines, which has the Bulgarian spring right now, uh, are just cheap, shitty springs. That's all there is to it. I mean, these are like thin, this is thin metal, man. Um, which may or may not make a difference. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. But I know enough to know 
a, a longer spring than a shorter spring and a thicker spring and a stronger spring. I mean, damn, dude. You know what I mean? Um, so, again, KCI is not super high-grade top quality. It is what it is. Don't get mad. I'm not attacking you for buying cheap stuff. We've all bought cheap stuff. I bought these magazines, okay? But I'm not going to defend my purchase and its honor at all costs and go on everybody's YouTube video. Well, they work fine in my gun because you got that little piece of crap, uh, uh, super shorty micro Draco. All right, so it is what it is. Don't get upset. Calm down. What we're going to do is there will, there will be another follow-up video where I'm going to swap these springs back. I'm going to take them out, show this again, show this one. This is, this is the only uh, brown Bulgarian mag that I own. We'll use this one in the follow-up video too, okay? We'll shoot them in their stock configuration. I'm going to swap these back. We're going to shoot them in their stock configurations. We'll swap the springs on camera, shoot it again, all right? Uh, if that works, which I think it's going to, I'm going to go online and buy some extra power springs for these and then we'll try them. I'm also, and some people may get mad again, gonna use a different gun. Um, because a lot of people, again, blamed the uh, Micro Draco. We're gonna use this one. This is a Raleigh Defense, okay? Uh, this gun's been awesome. I really like this. Um, we're gonna use that one, okay? We're gonna see what happens. Um, I've got a sneaky suspicion that these magazines with their stock springs in them. We'll do the exact same thing that they did in the other gun. This one will run, I know this one's gonna run fine with the stock springs, shoot this all the time. But then we'll swap them, show it, and then, like I said, if it works, I'll buy some new springs, call it a day, and I'll have two more mags for, you know, range use or whatever, all right? Um, anyway, that is it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Okay, I don't, not that interested. You see, I don't even edit videos together. This is all one take stuff. I don't care that much, okay? If you do want to see the follow up videos, maybe subscribe just to see that. Like I said, I don't care. I'm not making money on YouTube. I don't make enough videos to, you know, keep everybody entertained. Um, but if you do want to see the follow ups, if you want to see the videos before this, check them out. But, uh, it will be coming hopefully, uh, I can get out to shoot, you know, pretty soon. Um, the weather's been terrible, but we'll see, all right? So uh, you guys have fun. Don't buy these if you're going to bet your life on them.